Simplification has always defined SpaceX's strategy, and it may once again change everything. Facing skepticism over its HLS, SpaceX is doubling down on efficiency, refining its lunar design to move faster and cut costs without sacrificing reliability. This streamlined approach could accelerate Starship's development, reduce risks, and give SpaceX a decisive edge in the Artemis race. If it succeeds, it won't just transform lunar exploration, it could reshape humanity's path to Mars and beyond. Let's explore how this simplified strategy could redefine the competition in today's episode of Great SpaceX. The past few weeks have been some of the most challenging yet defining moments for SpaceX's Lunar Starship program. The company has faced a storm of criticism, and much of it comes from both current and former NASA officials who question Starship's pace of progress and its technical complexity. These concerns have reignited discussions about whether SpaceX can meet the demanding timeline for NASA's Artemis missions and deliver on its bold promise to return humans to the moon. Yet, as history has shown, SpaceX rarely shies away from adversity. This time, SpaceX's response centers on a single guiding principle that has defined many of its greatest successes, simplification. In a recent update, SpaceX made its stance clear. Since the contract was awarded, we have been consistently responsive to NASA as requirements for Artemis 3 have changed and have shared ideas on how to simplify the mission to align with national priorities. In response to the latest calls, we've shared and are formally assessing a simplified mission architecture and concept of operations that we believe will result in a faster return to the moon while simultaneously improving crew safety. While the company did not specify exactly what these simplifications entail, the tone of their message radiates confidence. SpaceX also reaffirmed that Starship continues to simultaneously be the fastest path to returning humans to the surface of the moon and a core enabler of the Artemis program's goal of establishing a permanent, sustainable presence on the surface. This statement makes one thing clear. SpaceX believes its approach is superior to any other solution currently on the table, and this announcement comes at a crucial moment, right as NASA has decided to reopen competition for Artemis 3. SpaceX appears determined not just to stay in the race, but to redefine it entirely. So how exactly will SpaceX simplify its lunar mission? The company emphasized a streamlined mission architecture and concept of operations. That phrasing suggests potential adjustments in how Starship will interact with NASA's systems, including the Orion spacecraft or perhaps a complete rethinking of the steps required to to reach the lunar surface. One possible scenario is that SpaceX may opt for a more direct approach, having Starship transport astronauts directly from Earth to the Moon and back, removing the need to dock with NASA's Orion capsule in lunar orbit. This would eliminate the entire layer of complexity, cost, and risk. It could also allow SpaceX to operate independently of the slower, more bureaucratic systems NASA has been developing for over a decade, such as the Space Launch System. By simplifying in the process, SpaceX could move faster and maintain full control over the mission's schedule and execution. Such a change would not only speed up operations, but also highlight a stark contrast between SpaceX's agile, iterative model and NASA's traditional, cautious approach. It'd be a bold statement that innovation, not bureaucracy, leads the way forward in space exploration. The simplification becomes even more apparent when examining the latest Starship HLS design renderings. Compared to previous iterations, the new model embodies a cleaner, more efficient approach. Earlier versions featured complex folding leg structures and an intricate arrangement of black glass panels around the crew section. While visually striking, these designs introduced challenges in manufacturing, installation, and structural stability. The second iteration, which used a fixed leg design, solved some of those problems but created new ones, such as limited flexibility for stacking and landing and cumbersome solar panel installations. The newest design resolves these issues elegantly. First, the crew compartment now follows a more uniform structure. The number of windows has been reduced, maintaining just enough for observation while reinforcing structural integrity and improving safety. Fewer windows also mean greater thermal protection and privacy for the crew. It's a thoughtful balance between practicality and comfort, key elements for long-duration missions. Next, the crew access door has been simplified to align perfectly with the elevator system used for lunar surface deployment. 
The door's design now mirrors the dimensions of the airlock, which supports efficient crew movement and equipment transfers. This refined layout not only enhances safety and functionality, but also hints at Starship's future potential. When viewed horizontally, this same doorway could serve as an entry point for a lunar base, suggesting how the HLS variant might evolve into a permanent moon habitat one day. Perhaps the most noticeable improvement lies in the landing legs. SpaceX has adopted a folding mechanism reminiscent of Falcon 9's proven design, but adapted for the lunar environment. The legs deploy from the lower section of the vehicle rather than the upper portion, allowing Starship to remain closer to the ground for stability on uneven terrain. It's possible these legs also include a spring or shock absorbing system to cushion landings on rugged lunar surfaces. This modification represents both simplicity and smart engineering, reducing complexity while enhancing reliability. Inside, the refinements are just as impressive. Earlier concept art depicted a two-floor configuration, which many critics argued was too compact for extended crew operations. The new design reveals a far more open and functional interior, complete with additional workspace, living quarters, and even a balcony-style observation area offering panoramic views through these side windows. The staircase, positioned centrally, provides smoother access between floors, promoting better movement and efficiency for astronauts during operations. Together, these changes demonstrate how simplification in design can lead to significant practical gains. This renewed focus on simplicity could allow the company to achieve what once seemed impossible, a faster, safer, and more sustainable path to the moon. It would not only validate SpaceX's engineering philosophy, but also challenge NASA to rethink how human spaceflight missions are designed in the modern area. So, what do you think of SpaceX's a simplification strategy. Could this approach truly put humans back on the moon sooner than expected? If you believe so, let me know with a let's do it down in the comments below. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more updates on SpaceX's journey to the moon and beyond. Simplicity has always been the cornerstone of SpaceX's engineering philosophy, and now it may be the secret to winning the race to the moon. The company's recent announcements make one thing unmistakably evident. This streamlined approach is not just about elegant design, but about achieving greater speed, efficiency, and reliability. SpaceX has emphasized that its simplified mission plan is built around one goal, reaching the lunar surface faster than any other contender, even those with the most optimistic timelines. At the moment, NASA's Artemis 3 mission is officially scheduled for mid to late 2027. If NASA proceeds with opening a new contract competition for the mission, as has recently been suggested, that timeline is unlikely to accelerate. However, SpaceX seems determined to move ahead of schedule to meet the demands of the Artemis program and maintain its lead. SpaceX may aim to complete its own milestones as early as the first half of 2027. But the real question is, can they actually do it? Based on SpaceX's most recent progress report, the answer appears increasingly promising. The company revealed that it has already completed 49 major milestones related to the Starship HLS program. Each successful test brings SpaceX one step closer to proving that Starship is not just a concept, but a fully capable lunar lander ready for crewed missions. These achievements have built growing confidence within the aerospace community that SpaceX may indeed return astronauts to the moon on schedule or perhaps even earlier than NASA's official target. Still, major work remains before that vision can become a reality. Among the most critical tasks ahead is the completion and testing of SpaceX's in-orbit refilling system a cornerstone of Starship's lunar mission architecture. According to the company, several refilling demonstrations are planned for next year. These are expected to begin around mid-2026, following the first missions that will validate Starship's upgraded V3 architecture. Those initial V3 flights will demonstrate the rocket's ability to reach orbit, deploy payloads, and achieve successful landings for both stages. Key steps before the complex refilling operations can begin. Around the same period, the first dedicated Starship HLS prototypes are expected to emerge. SpaceX will likely build at least two units, one for the uncrewed lunar landing demonstration and another for testing and refilling, testing the refilling process under real mission conditions. 
The uncrewed demonstration will serve as a crucial proof of concept showing that Starship can safely descend and land on the moon's surface. The second prototype will likely test in-orbit fuel transfer and other systems essential for crewed flight readiness. After these tests, the remaining flight-ready Starship will be reserved for the first crewed lunar mission under Artemis III. If SpaceX can maintain its momentum and execute its simplified mission plan effectively, the company could achieve what was once seemed unthinkable landing astronauts on the moon within the current schedule or even ahead of it. NASA's latest decision has placed the Artemis program under an even brighter spotlight, and with that, controversy is sure to follow. For months, both current and former NASA officials have voiced concerns over the pace of SpaceX's Starship development, sparking discussions about reopening the competition for the Artemis III lunar lander, potentially giving Blue Origin's Blue Moon another chance to challenge SpaceX's lead. Yet, if SpaceX wins again, it would reveal a contradiction, NASA doubting the very partner it continues to choose. And when comparing progress, the result seems inevitable. SpaceX's transparency and steady advancements far outpace competitors still struggling to catch up. Blue Moon, while promising, relies on legacy design and an unproven launch vehicle. New Glenn has flown only once, and even with another flight ahead, scaling it for Artemis remains uncertain. Without it, NASA would need costly, slow alternatives like SLS or Vulcan, neither capable of matching the reusability or affordability of Starship's integrated system. SpaceX's simplified architecture offers what NASA needs most, speed, flexibility, and the capacity to keep the U.S. ahead in the new space race. This has been Kevin with Great SpaceX. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date with yours truly on the latest milestones in SpaceX's journey. Thank you so much for watching and always remember, curiosity, imagination, and inspiration will follow you so long as you keep looking up.